Hi there. My name's Phil, and I'm the uh, New Zealand Sun Consultant with the Flip Software, and uh, I'm here today just to give you a little demonstration of Vision, or Q&A, cache functionality. The cache functionality within Vision is for when you're dealing with Excel reports, where you have a lot of summary links. Uh, here's an example of a report that I did. You can see there's quite a few uh, figures there. Each one of those figures is referring back to uh, the Sun database and searching the criteria for the transactions that match for that particular cell. So it does take a little bit of time to run or to update. If you're using a cache, what you can do is load a cache into the memory that takes a big chunk of the data, but just the data you're going to be referring to. So that when you update your report, it's only updating, it's doing one extraction from the cache instead of several hundred to the database. So it does speed things up quite a lot. And here's how it works. Here's a little report I prepared earlier. Uh, you know, so I've brought out my account codes my, uh, down the side, my periods across the top. I've created a little summary link using uh, Vision Q and A that refers to that particular account for that particular period. Okay, and I can either do my formula fill or my cut and paste all the way down. And run my Shift F9 to update. And you can see the lines the lines as they're updating. This is not the biggest report you can do. I've kept it a little bit smaller, but you can see it took some time to update to get all those cells right. The alternative you have with the cache is over here, we'll log out of the Excel function and we'll go into the cache, into the cache manager. First we'll select the cell up here, then we'll go into the cache manager. We'll go and create a new cache. We'll rename that. Um, put, um, and then we'll go and edit query. So this is like doing the extract, except now we just want to bring out the block of data. So I'm going to go into my ledger, my account code, I'm going to bring out all. For my account period, I'm just going to bring out my current year. Now keep in mind that these caches can be edited and updated if you, as you want to. Or you can, I'm doing a full year's worth, so that's going to bring me up the whole year's chunk of data as it comes available. With the cache, you need to supply at least one dimension and one measurement. With my report, I'm dealing with account codes and periods and wanting a base amount. So that's giving me two dimensions and one measurement. So that's all happy. Now we'll go and populate that. You see it's populated 157K worth of data. And I'm going to go and open it. So it is now opened, true, and it will repopulate every time you open this particular worksheet. Now, I pretty much do the same thing as what I did with my summary links. I click in here. But now, with my vision cache, I use a cache formula. I go and look for my movements. My measure index was my base amount, which is one. And for my dimensions, yes, my account code was there. My accounting period was there. We go, OK. Same deal again. Formula fill or cut and paste, whichever you like better. But this time, when I update, you see it updates instantly. So the reports become a lot quicker. And of course, I'm. Another month has gone by, so I can just go and add a new month in. Because my cache, I ran up to period 12. So I already uh, have that data 
cash updates instantly. Vision cash functionality. It's as simple as that. So if you've got bigger reports that do require uh, time to update because you're using lots of summary links, you can set them up with the vision cache. If you want to know more, give your account manager a call or give the Sun Support Desk a call. Uh, there's two numbers there for Australia and New Zealand. We're always happy to help. Thanks for your time.